Hi, I'm David. Welcome to the HypoGal channel. On this third episode, I'm going to discuss with you two of the medications that my wife HypoGal has to take on a daily basis. One of the medications, prednisone, is a steroid that without that, she would not be able to live. The other medication is human growth hormone, otherwise known as Humatrobe, made by Eli Lilly, which is a uh, hormone that enables her quality of life to be enhanced greatly because her body does not produce growth hormone naturally due to the Sheehan syndrome. Due to the Sheehan syndrome, her pituitary gland does not send the message to her adrenal gland to produce cortisol, which when produced controls our blood pressure, heart rate, and other important bodily functions. As a result of this, my wife has to take a steroid called, called prednisone to do what the body can't do naturally in her uh, situation. Now, what makes prednisone such a, a uh, tricky uh, drug is that she has to take the right level uh, to keep everything at an even keel. Now, there are situations where the doctor has instructed her that if she feels under stress or if she feels ill, she has to increase this dose on her own to keep her body going and uh, functioning in the proper manner. Uh, there have been situations where we have unfortunately had to go to the emergency room because of uh, medical uh, emergencies and the first thing that the attending um, emergency room doctors have done is given her what they call a stress dose of a prednisone and this is like a massive dose you know you know maybe four or five times of, of her dose that she normally takes maybe even more uh, just to enable her to function the medical crisis that her body is going through and uh, thankfully, there have been no uh, problems with her doses, and she's always been able to manage it on her own. The ironic thing is these steroids that she takes to function normally are what these professional athletes take to enhance their performance. Uh, they call them performance-enhancing drugs, which are illegal. And in my wife's case, this is a survival-enhancing drug, because without the prednisone, she would not be able to live. Now, the second medication that she takes, again, is another hormone replacement that her body does not produce naturally because her pituitary gland doesn't send the message to produce this. And what medication she takes is called Humatrol. It's a uh, human growth hormone made by the multi-billion dollar drug company Eli Lilly, and this is the medication that it comes in. And this uh, medication is very, very expensive, like $1,000 a month. And needless to say, she had to get a special prior authorization, you know, beyond what you get from your normal medication from your physician. She had to have a special test uh, given to it to, to prove to the insurance companies that she, in fact, didn't have human growth hormone in her body. And she needed a doctor's letter stating that she doesn't have the growth hormone and that this would be very beneficial to her to have a better quality of life. Again, uh, the prednisone is a matter of survival. The human growth home hormone enables her to live a, a much higher quality of life, which we all deserve to live a normal quality of life. Again, human growth hormone is another medication that the uh, professional athletes have taken the liberty of to increase their home runs or what have you. Uh, Hypogal just gives herself this injection on a daily basis so that she can have a better quality of life and maybe, you know, take care of her, her children better and just live a better life and she just takes a certain amount, she twists the, the uh, container, gives you a certain amount and she takes a daily injection. So this is what my wife Hypogal has to do. She has to take her prednisone again so that she can live and then uh, thankfully we're able to get the growth hormone so that her quality of life is a little better than what it would be. With that, thank you very much. I'm out.